So, hello there. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> this video is going to document my humble attempts at making a minimalist collage for a challenge run by wonderful Anna from Anna's Pigments. The rules of the challenge are as follows. You have to make a collage on a 10 by 10 centimeters piece of paper using only three elements. So in this video, I'm actually going to be trying out a slightly different format. So instead of um, doing a voiceover, I'm actually going to be talking live on camera. Back to the collages. So the way I decided to do it is um, by cutting the pages in my journal. And I actually quite like how it looks. I like that you can like see bits of the other pages on the other on the other side um, and as you can see I've actually already made um, one collage so what I did here is um, I just painted the background with black watercolors I almost like dry brushed it there was very little water involved in the painting process and I really love the texture that we ended up with because the paper in this journal um, is, what's the term? Is it like hand pressed? But yeah, it has like little little bits of flowers and petals. And so when you actually um, paint over it, it gives a very, very nice texture. So that's what I did here for the background. And then for the actual elements, um, I, I just I just found this dude in one of the like advertising magazines that I get in the mail. So all of these, all three elements come from like the same page that I found in a in a magazine. So I actually quite like that idea of even like further restricting myself in terms of not getting elements from like different sources, but just sticking to like a single magazine or like a single leaflet or whatever it is that I'm using. So what I'm gonna do today is make another collage on the other side of this page, which doesn't look very nice right now. I mean, I, on the one hand, it's kind of cute. Like we have these kind of random splotches, but I'm, I'm just not feeling it. I don't know. Um, I feel like we should do something different with it. So, what I was thinking is, um, I have this advertising leaflet again that I'm pretty sure I got in the mail as well. I get tons of these. Um, and I found this little lady here who is missing top part of her head very conveniently and then she's holding a key. So what I was thinking is I could cut her out um, and then put something to kind of continue her head. Originally I thought that I could do it with uh, one of these, especially the violin. I think the violin would be quite cool. Um, and then just use this little bit here that says the art of being. We're just gonna ignore the rest of it. I think the art of being is quite an evocative phrase. Um, and the fact that she's holding a key is, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I think it just goes well together. Um, I'm very bad at explaining my choices when it comes to making stuff. And let me just move this aside. In my little box of pre-cut um, things, I have these plants and I was thinking like, maybe the art of being for this uh, little headless lady could be nature, you know, uh, just this little bit here. So the other thing that I need to consider is the background. So like, what are we going to do for the background? So what I might do is I might paint it over with some acrylics.
So just looking at now, I quite like the contrast between like this kind of dry brushed black bit and the actual background that we have here with a bit of like black speckling. I think it looks good. I don't know. I don't really mind the top part just being the way it is right now. I think it adds a very nice contrast to um, the whole thing and it sort of ties the two things together. I think it works much better this way than if it was just like a white um, blank page. I, I don't know. I think it adds some visual interest to the whole thing. So I think while it's drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, get rid of like the white outline on the plant. is looking much better now. Um, I know it doesn't really look like it makes a big difference, but in person it was just bothering me so much, like those white lines. Um, so yeah, now we can just... Oh, I didn't check whether it would dry or not, but I think it's dry. Um, hopefully it had enough time to dry out. Ah, oh, that's so perfect. Just look at that. matches perfectly. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna glue them. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna glue them in place and then figure out where I want the little words to go. So as you can see, the plant is sticking out a little bit, like just the tiniest little bit here. Um, but I think I'm not gonna cut it to size of page, I'm just gonna leave it like that. While I was making it, I was kind of thinking like, these two, um, so I mean, the one that I made before and this one that we're making now, they kind of, you know, they're exploring the same theme, if you like, because this little guy here, he's sort of coming out of his shell and body and sort of staring into the cosmos and like contemplating, you know, how to like cross the boundaries that he sort of built for himself. And then, then we have her and you know, she's, she's got the key to happiness. She's quite content. And we're gonna have those words, which we're actually gonna cut out now. Alright, so it should go here, centered over the plant. And then it can have a little black background or something. So now that the paint is finally dry, I think it's time to stick her little words on and, and actually finish the, the collage. And with that, um, I think my collage is actually done. I really love how the paint sort of forms this kind of interesting texture. And then when I look at the top part, it almost looks like clouds in the sky. So yeah, um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I quite enjoyed the process. It was a lot less stressful than I thought it would be um, with the whole like talking on camera thing. So I think I might actually continue um, making these sort of videos where I just sit down and chat and make a little simple collage. Um, and yeah, once again, I just wanted to give a shout out to um, Anna's Figments, um, 
who pretty much inspired this whole video with um, with her challenge. So with that, I think I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna end this video, and I hope to see you soon.